Crawford is happy as fuck that Errol Spence isn't getting the Manny Pacquiao fight. And rightly so in a way because at the end of the day, it's every man for himself. And everybody knows if you've got a half-sized brain, you'll know that Errol Spence has been ducking Crawford. And Crawford thinks that as well. So obviously Crawford's happy that he's not getting the Manny Pacquiao fight. Because Crawford thought he was getting the Manny Pacquiao fight. So it, 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 even if it was like a tomato can getting the Manny Pacquiao fight, Crawford would have been jealous. But seeing that it was his biggest rival in Errol Spence, he would have been even more jealous. And by the way, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. At the end of the day, we're all humans. We get jealous. But now that Crawford's seen that Errol Spence is injured, he must be punching the air happy as a jolly boy saying... This is karma. This is what Crawford's probably thinking. This is karma. And another thing. All errors spent to be the same. This was my worry when he had the car accident. And now he's got this rep, reptonal eye thing. But this is the thing. Is this eye injury because of the car accident? Obviously, they, they might be completely different. But that was a bad car accident, man. And I've said it before, like... I don't know whether Errol Spence will ever be the same. Maybe his body has become weaker in a way he can't absorb pain or um, damage as well. So maybe he'll get injured or... Yeah, he'll just get injured more often. Or maybe this... Whether he had the accident or not, this would have happened. A freak accident. When an accident like that happens, you start to wonder... Maybe was that the cause of this? Because... If you look at it, Glovkin broke a Kell Brook's right eye socket or left eye socket, one of his eye sockets. And literally the next fight, Errol Spence broke the other eye socket. So I don't know, was that coincident? Was that a reoccurring? Was the damage already done? Once you break one eye socket, is both eye sockets vulnerable now? I don't know how it works. If you're a scientist, comment down below. But the main point for this video is that Crawford's happy. He's happy that Spence isn't getting a big fight. He's probably happy that Spence won't be fighting for a while now. Because from what I'm hearing, this is a bad injury. And usually it does take a while to heal from this type of injury. Maybe over a year or just a year. So he won't be fighting this year. That I think like everyone can agree on that. That Errol Spence won't be fighting in 2021. If I was Crawford, I'd be pissed at Errol Spence. Like, me and you are number one, number two. We should fight. But you keep ducking me because I don't know whether Crawford believes this or will admit it. But Spence is the bigger name. So Spence isn't giving him the opportunity to fight. So I would be pissed too if I was Crawford. And I would be happy if Spence gets injured if I was Crawford. Because why do you, why do you want your rival to succeed? Do you think if Spence, because I, I feel like Spence would have, would have beat Pacquiao, especially of the, because of the Pacquiao's two-year layoff and his age. Like, if I was Crawford, would you want your biggest rival to be a legend in Manny Pacquiao, get his name ten times bigger, because once you fight a legend like Pacquiao, your name only gets bigger. And if he beats Pacquiao in a dominated fashion, which I think he would have because of Pacquiao's age, then that would just make Errol Spence's name bigger and therefore would rightly command for a bigger purse, bigger percentage of the fight purse against Crawford. Like right now, I would say it's probably 60%, 60-40 in Spence's favour. But when if Spence demolished and destroys Manny Pacquiao, like I don't think you can really argue with Spence if he asked for 75%, 70%, eight, even uh, if you wanted to be greedy, greedy, you could have even 80%. Because I feel like you have to give Pacquiao's name some credit. Like that guy's probably the biggest name in boxing. Like even bigger than Canelo. That's the truth. Like Manny Pacquiao's name is probably bigger than Canelo's worldwide. So yeah, being someone like Pacquiao will only do good things. So I don't really ramble, want to ramble on too much. Comment down below you lot's thoughts. Pacquiao versus you guys. I'll do a prediction on that fight. If you want it, so comment down below Yulot's prediction on that fight. I'll do a prediction maybe next week. So you like, comment down below Yulot's thoughts. Do you agree with me that Crawford's pissed? How disappointed are you that Spence Pacquiao isn't happening? I guess in a way, I'm kind of, I wouldn't say happy, but in a way, I'm kind of like content in a way. Now we get to see how good Pacquiao is because there was always talks like, 
Ah, oh, Pacquiao lost it now. He hasn't fought for two years. The age is that. So watching him now against Ugas, we're kind of going to gauge how he, he would have done against Spence. So if Pacquiao does beat Ugas, I feel like the Spence fight will be a lot closer. Especially in my eyes, which is the main important thing in my eyes. So yeah, I don't really want to ramble on too much. You think Crawford's happy? Comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe for more bollocks and peace.